Can birds rap? Beatboxing in the wild? Think beatboxing is just for humans? Think again. There's a bird out there that can throw down beats that would impress any rapper. Meet the sensational lyrebird, a master mimic from the forests of Australia. This feathered performer can copy almost any sound it hears, including chainsaws, camera shutters, car alarms, and even human voices. But here's where it gets really funky. The lyrebird doesn't just repeat sounds, it remixes them. By combining different noises and natural bird calls, it creates its own wild symphonies, much like a beatboxer making music with just their mouth. The lyrebird does this to attract mates and show off its vocal skills, which are so good that other birds sometimes get fooled by its imitations. So, while birds can't rap lyrics like humans, when it comes to laying down beats and mixing up sounds, the lyrebird is the avian world's answer to a hip-hop artist. Next time you enjoy watching a TikTok dance challenge, remember that somewhere in Australia, there might be a lyrebird dropping beats in the forest's own version of a talent show. Singing Ice, the mystery of the musical Frozen Lakes. Imagine walking by a frozen lake and suddenly hearing a beautiful, eerie sound like a mix between a whale song and sci-fi movie music. This isn't your imagination. It's a real thing that some lakes do in winter. When a lake freezes, it can create a natural symphony known as singing ice. But how can ice sing? The secret is in the ice's expansion and contraction. As the temperature changes, the ice cover on the lake grows and shrinks, which causes stress. This stress makes the ice crack, but not just any crack. These are musical cracks that create sounds like chimes or otherworldly melodies. The pitch of the sounds depends on how thick the ice is. Thick ice makes deep, low-pitched sounds, while thin ice gives higher-pitched notes. People are so fascinated by this phenomenon that some even play the ice drums by gently tapping on frozen lakes with sticks to make music. So, who knew that during those cold, silent winters, the ice might be rehearsing for its next concert? Is space really silent? The cosmic concert you can't hear. Imagine being in space. Would it be totally silent around you? Movies show space as a place where no one can hear you scream. And they're right, but not for the reasons you might think. Space is filled with astonishing sounds that we humans just can't hear. So why can't we hear them? It's because space is a vacuum, and sound needs a medium, like air or water, to travel through. But don't let that fool you into thinking space is quiet. Instruments on spacecraft can listen to electromagnetic vibrations from planets, stars, and gases, and convert them into sounds that our ears can hear. And these are not just random noises. They can be pretty eerie and beautiful, like a cosmic concert played by the universe itself. Just because human ears can't pick up these sounds naturally doesn't mean the cosmos is silent. Incredible, right? The next time you look up at the stars, think about the mysterious music of space that's always playing, even if we can't hear it with our own ears. Space is full of surprises and sound is one of them, even in the silent void. Sugary DNA, how your dessert could store data. What if your favorite candy could save your favorite song? Sounds crazy, but science says it might be possible. DNA, which is the stuff that tells our bodies how to grow and function, can also be used to store information, like a tiny biological hard drive. Scientists have come up with a way to turn digital data into DNA code. This means that one day, we might use DNA to back up entire libraries of books, music, movies, and more. You could have a piece of candy with the DNA recipe for all the Harry Potter books or the entire Beatles discography in it. Why use DNA for storage? Because it can hold a lot of data in a super small space. Just think about it. All the information to create a whole human being is packed into DNA that fits inside a single cell. DNA is also incredibly durable. While your smartphone or computer might last a few years, DNA can last thousands of years if kept cool and dry. This might sound like science fiction, but researchers are already storing things in DNA. It's not ready for your candy just yet, but in the future, eating your words could take on a whole new meaning. The ice-cold fish with antifreeze blood. You know how we bundle up in coats and hats to face the chilly winter? Well, there's a fish that lives in Antarctic waters that has its own built-in winter coat. This super cool, pun intended fish is called the Antarctic ice fish, and it has antifreeze proteins in its blood. 
That's right, while we try to avoid getting frostbite, this fish swims happily in freezing temperatures that would turn our blood to ice. These antifreeze proteins stop ice crystals from growing in its blood, which allows the ice fish to survive in waters as cold as minus two degrees Celsius, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. This chilly water is way below the freezing point of human blood. Even crazier is the fact that some ice fish species don't have red blood cells or hemoglobin, which are what usually give blood its red color and carry oxygen in most animals. Instead, their blood is clear and they absorb oxygen directly from the water. It's like nature gave them a natural cheat code to live in one of the coldest places on earth. Isn't it fascinating how life can adapt to such extreme conditions? Just when we think we've seen it all, nature surprises us with fish that carry around their own personal antifreeze. Pizza farming, harvest your slice. Ever heard of a pizza farm? No, it's not a fantasy land with pepperoni plants and cheese pools, but it's still pretty cool. A pizza farm is a farm that grows all the ingredients you need to make a pizza, right there in one place. Tomatoes, wheat for crust, herbs for seasoning, and they might even have cows and chickens for cheese and meat toppings. You can actually visit some of these farms and pick your fresh toppings straight from the soil. The idea behind this is to teach people about where their food comes from. Many folks, especially kids, think food only comes from the store, not seeing the start to finish process of farm to table. When you visit a pizza farm, you get to see the whole journey. From seeds in the ground to veggies on your slice, you learn how each ingredient is grown and made. And the best part, at the end of the tour, you get to eat a pizza made with ingredients you just saw in the ground. This gives a whole new meaning to fresh food. It's like a slice of farming life. The Space Roomba Cleaning Up Cosmic Clutter. Ever heard of a robot vacuum, commonly known as a Roomba, that cleans your house? Well, guess what? Earth's orbit has its own version of a cleaning crew, but for space junk. Meet the Space Roomba, a spacecraft designed to sweep up the debris floating around our planet. Space junk includes old satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from collisions. This orbiting rubble is dangerous because it can crash into satellites and even the International Space Station. But fear not, because scientists are working on spacecraft that can capture and remove this cosmic clutter. One method is like a giant space net that catches debris, while another is like a harpoon that snags and hauls it in. Once captured, the junk is dragged back into Earth's atmosphere where it burns up safely. Cool, right? So the next time you see a shooting star, it might actually be a piece of space junk being cleaned up by our out-of-this-world vacuum. Our space Roomba is helping to keep the pathway to the stars safe and clean for future explorations. A library bigger than a castle? Uncover the secret. Imagine finding a library so huge, it's got more rooms than a grand castle. It sounds like a storybook fantasy, but it's real, and it's called the British Library in London. This isn't just any library, it's one of the biggest in the world. With over 170 million items, if you spent just one minute looking at every book, it would take you over 300 years to see them all. The library has all sorts of cool things, not just books, but also maps, newspapers, recordings, and even old stamps. The shelves are so long that if you laid them end to end, they would stretch over 625 kilometers. That's like driving from London to Paris. Plus. They have famous items like the Magna Carta, which is over 800 years old, and handwritten Beatles lyrics. It's got stuff from way back in history to the latest research articles. So next time you open a book, think about this. You're holding just one of millions that fill the libraries of the world, and some libraries are so large, they're like kingdoms of knowledge. Why don't honeybees get sticky wings? Have you ever wondered how bees can dive into flowers? wallow around in pollen and nectar, and not end up with super sticky wings. It seems like they'd get stuck in all that gooey sweetness, just like when you get honey on your fingers. But bees have a secret trick. They produce a special oil from glands on their body that they spread on their wings and legs. This oil makes them non-stick heroes, almost like they're using their own natural cooking spray. The oil protects their delicate wings from getting bogged down by sticky nectar. This ensures they can keep flying from flower to flower without trouble, helping plants to grow by spreading pollen.
Isn't that amazing? Bees not only make delicious honey and help flowers bloom, but they also have built-in science hacks to deal with the sticky parts of their job. So next time you see a bee buzzing from bloom to bloom, remember that it has its own special way of staying clean and aerodynamic. Birds might have the skies, but bees are the kings and queens of the flowers. Ever seen clouds full from the sky? Imagine you're walking outside on a cloudy day and suddenly you see little pieces of clouds falling to the ground. Sounds like a fairy tale, right? Well, believe it or not, something like this happens in nature. But it's not actually pieces of clouds. It's called star jelly. This is a strange gelatinous substance that sometimes appears on the ground after meteor showers. Some people once thought it was leftover bits from falling stars. How magical. Even though we now know that star jelly is probably a type of slime mold or a substance from frogs or toads, the story of clouds falling from the sky makes our world seem like a mysterious place. It goes to show that nature can be just as fantastical as any story we can make up. So the next time you're out after a meteor shower, keep an eye on the ground. You might just find something out of this world. Follow me for more fun facts.